Pulling the scales of justice has always been a woman. But until recently, the hard-bitten prosecutor trying to lock up hardcore crooks was almost always a man. In the last decade, however, the number of women prosecutors has doubled. Art Harris introduces us to one of the best. I was very quiet growing up as a child. I would say it was a traditional Southern childhood. Nancy Grace is no typical Southern belle. Anything, a white car on the head, no. And She's a crusading prosecutor. She's tried 70 cases and hasn't lost one yet. Where the gun was stolen? Killers, rapists, pimps, punks. She's put them all away. I left in the armed robbery, the barbary, the rape. I really think that one person can make a difference. Not a big difference, but a difference. What he did with a pistol. Nancy Grace is Atlanta's steel magnolia with a nickname. Amazing Grace. I believe her through redemption. I'm just not concerned with it. <laughs> I believe, I'm sure, that the Lord will redeem these people. But um, not on my victim's time. Lady Justice. She's always symbolized how the scales tip. Yet justice has generally been a man's world. But a new breed of women has tackled America's crime wars. Prosecutors making an impact on the criminal justice system. Avenging angels who'd rather bust bad guys than earn big fees defending them. This time, Atlanta prosecutor Nancy Grace is pursuing an accused killer, Atlanta millionaire Wayne Carr. The charge? He burned down his house to cover up the murder of his wife, Pat Carr. She planned to leave him. I know she did not have the strength to ever break away from her murderer. I really believe that I did have the strength to do that for her. Carr denies killing his wife, calling the 3 a.m. fire an accident. He said he tried to save her, but she fought him and he scrambled out a window without her. Only tests showed Pat Carr suffered a curious blow to the head. You're saying he hit her in the head and right, knocked her out. Right, 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 right up here. To recreate the fire, Grace used a smoke machine and tried a bedroom window the suspect said got stuck that night. No problem. She has no witnesses, only circumstantial evidence. But hunting motive, the prosecutor uncovered that Carr had once hit his wife and tapped her phone. But it would be ten times worse if we, if we did get found out. Grace also learned not only did Pat Carr plan to leave her husband, but was having an affair with a family friend, Bruce Broadhurst. Hopefully I can see it tomorrow. I love you. I love you too, Bruce, honey. I do. I have to tell you, the defendant left a track a mile wide. Hot air. Cheap theatricals. Nancy Grace has left tracks, too, across the backs of some of Atlanta's toughest lawyers. They get high uh, marks for her Probably the her be strength to to the to uh, put together the facts of a case. A veteran criminal lawyer, Jack Martin, defended Wayne Carr. What she suffered through himself is going to spectrum. The other side of the coin is she's this incredibly flamboyant lawyer in the courtroom who uh, is constantly posturing and playing to the jury. Do you think the state's heart is stone? Acting like she's this little lost lamb. Who in court plays Southern Belle to the max. Beehive hair, drawl and all. Y'all, you can look at it and see some, even I, with my naked, untrained eyes, can look at I don't play on anything. I am a woman, and I am from the South. I think most female lawyers would be embarrassed to act like Nancy Grace does in the courtroom. It is what you believe in your head and in your heart. If they have sour grapes, Art, they can just chew on them. You can see. In her crusade to convict Wayne Carr of murder, Grace lays out her case for arson, reenacting how she believes Carr started the fire that night using a flammable liquid. There's water on the floor. You can see it. Even then, she makes the victim come alive for the jury. 
You heard that she had been shoved, had been punched, had been slapped. I can't believe you can turn away from all the planning and all the scheming he did to kill Miss Carr. Even critics say Grace has a special way with victims, that their pain fuels her passion for justice. What she's never told other lawyers until now is why she feels so close to victims. She has been one. Keith Griffin was a baseball star at Valdosta State in South Georgia. Nancy Grace was the sorority girl with every girl's dream. Her own family, children, a life together with a man she loved. When I saw him for the first time, he had the most beautiful blue eyes ever. I thought, oh, that is the most wonderful person, and I'm in love with him. And then, in one fell swoop, everything changed. All my plans for the rest of my life changed. In one life-altering moment, 26-year-old Keith Griffin was gunned down by a criminal on parole. A random act of violence. Like every other murder victim's family, um, I will never get over it. For Nancy Grace, the justice system had failed. If Keith's killer had been in jail, this would never have happened. You sound very angry at the system. I am the system. I am part of the system. And it failed that time, and I hate to see it ever fail again. Nancy Grace was just 21 when her fiancé was murdered. She left school and abandoned a dream to become an English professor. She was lost for two years until she found law school, got a job prosecuting criminals, and gave up her life as a victim. I have to say that becoming a prosecutor and caring about my cases and letting that be the focus of my life has been like a tonic. It's been a cure. When it's trial time, Nancy Grace shuts out everything. Friends, family, nothing matters but the case. We have had people working overtime, triple time, weekends, unpaid. Nothing in it for any of us except we believe he killed her. Convict him. And will you publish the verdict, Miss Grace? It took the jury less than two hours to find Carr guilty. As to count one malice murder, we, the jury, found the defendant, Weldon Wayne Carr, guilty. To find Carr guilty of arson, convicted of killing his wife. I'm very pleased with the verdict. I'm very For Atlanta's star deputy district attorney, it's another big win. That was you I seen on TV last night. And big headlines the next day. Nancy, congratulations. Then it was back to the office to bask in fleeting glory and pick up her next case. In a career, she says, that gives her life meaning and motive. When it comes down to it, it's you in the courtroom. And uh, it is on your shoulders to follow things through and to seek what is right. Went and got the gun and shot her. I am happy that I get to touch people and help people and do something right. And that's just a close-up. Yeah.